Hey everyone, TechnoMinger here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if it's stuck on preparing to update on iOS 18. So let's get started. So first thing you want to do if you're having this issue, of course, go into your settings and then go to general software update and check again to see if you can update it now. Sometimes you just have to be patient while the update is happening. Now, one thing I do recommend is that we want to pull down the control menu from your phone here, pull it up. Put your phone in airplane mode briefly and then turn it back off and does as a quick network refresh so there's a network issue causing that update to be stuck it will fix it for you and along with that is that if you're having an update being stuck you want to make sure you're using wi-fi instead of cellular data wi-fi works the best when it comes to updating your phone especially software update so do that as well now if it's still stuck the next thing you want to do is go ahead and swipe up and close out the update and then you want to go ahead and follow this method which is you're going to quickly press and release the volume up and then quickly press and release the volume down and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black and the apple logo appears so i'm going to do volume up volume down and then i hold on to the side button just like i am here right now and i'm going to wait for the screen to go completely black and the apple logo to appear so it does take a moment for it to do that but just keep on holding on and you're gonna wait for the Apple logo to show up before you let go of that side button. And this is known as basically a force restart, which shuts down the phone software and reloads the code. So if it's a software related issue, most likely the reason why it's stuck on that preparing to update, it's gonna be fixed after following this step. Now, if it's still not fixed, the next thing you wanna do is go into your setting on your iPhone and then go under general and under iPhone storage, you wanna make sure you have enough storage available for an update. Generally, you want at least 10 gigs or more available. If you don't have that, delete some of the stuff that's on your phone, especially uh, any of the apps or longer format videos will clear up some space, but you need to at least 10 gigs or more. And then also look to see if the update is also there for you. Sometimes the update might be there where you can delete it if it already tried to update it. So look in this list, it's gonna say something like, iOS and then the version and then you're going to click on it and once you click on it it'll give you the option to delete it which we've seen this issue happening where you just delete the previous update and then you're going to try to re-download and install the update again and then go back into your setting after you delete it right and then you're going to do the same exact thing from the settings go to general software update and check if the update shows up and then click on update now to reinstall the update now another thing to consider is your phone battery percentage which is going to be important when it comes to doing any update make sure your phone is at least 50 percent or more charged if not connected to a charger and then also in the settings for your battery click on to ensure that low power mode is turned off if this setting is turned on it reduces certain functionality like downloading and installing updates so you want to turn that setting up have it connected to the power source while it's charging so you can go ahead and update it now, if it's still not working, the next thing to do is in the settings, go to general, go all the way down, which is transfer reset iPhone, click on reset, click on a reset right here, and then we're gonna do a network reset. The second option here, basically it'll reset any connectivity issue that you may be having with your phone and delete any saved Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connected devices, but it's important to do, especially if you're having issues with the uh, preparing to update, it's stuck on your phone. Now, after you have done that and you're still having issues, Another alternative way to install the update is using iTunes or basically Finder on a new MacBook. That's another way to update it. Sometimes updating through the Wi-Fi or cellular data doesn't work correctly. In that case, we're gonna link you to another video because it does take a little bit longer if you wanna follow this step to update your phone to iOS 18 and hopefully you're able to do that update. And I hope this video is helpful. If so please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.